Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Fusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about a change in Florida's minimum wage, Volvo breaking into the electric car market, and more. Today is Wednesday, October 18th, and this is the Morning Report. Florida's minimum wage is set to move 15 cents on January 1st, which means the minimum in Florida moves from 810 to 825. And for a 40-hour work week that comes out to about 330 per week before taxes and is $1 higher than the federal minimum wage. Employees who earn most of their income on tips will see their minimum rise from 508 to 523 per hour, while federal minimum for tipped workers is 213. Florida calculates minimum wage increase based on the consumer price index which means that the wage increases are generally tied to inflation and rising prices. But some think the increase doesn't go far enough. $15 per hour minimums have become a popular policy talking point in recent years. Proponents argue that significantly increasing the minimum wage would boost the quality for life for low-income workers, reduce reliance on government benefits, and reduce income inequality. Opponents argue that increasing the minimum wage will shed jobs and tighten the labor market for low-income income and low-skilled workers. Read more at NaplesHerald.com. The box office might be struggling this year, but the horror genre is alive and well. After its aptly chosen October 13th release date, the Groundhog Day-like horror movie Happy Death Day scored a first-place finish, surpassing expectations and blowing the highly anticipated Blade Runner 2049 out of the water. With a PG-13 rating, Happy Death Day scored big with younger audiences. 63% of viewers were under 25. Jim Orr of Universal said now is a horror gold rush at the theaters and praised the latest Bloomhouse horror movie as an original film that's reimagining the genre. Happy Death Day also had the benefit of coming on the heels of the massive success of the newly released It movie. Horror continues to be one of the bright spots during a roller coaster year at the box office, and October is the month to get to your local theaters and see them in all their gory glory. Volvo Cars Performance Electric Car brand Polestar unveiled a four-seat coupe and lightweight carbon fiber as its first model Tuesday, adding to competition in a market dominated until now by Tesla. The hybrid Polestar 1 promises a range of 95 miles on a charge with a gasoline-powered engine to supplement if needed. It's due to be produced at a factory in western China and released in 2019. Volvo announced in July that it will only make electric and hybrid vehicles starting in 2019, with an all electric model and an SUV in 2021. All manufacturers are moving toward more hybrids, but industry analysts say a transition to full electric vehicles is years away. The next Polestar model, the midsize Polestar 2, is intended to compete with Tesla's Model 3, the company says, and while they decline to give a price, the Tesla starts at $35,000. Read more at NaplesHerald.com. And that was the morning report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The morning report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.